BA Blocks, brought to you by Learn.ba. Let's actually dive into the question that you had uh, asked in our uh, from our backlog. And so the question that we had uh, come to us, uh, it has to do with SQL, which is, uh, again, what we just talked about. But uh, how important is SQL for business system analysts? Is SQL for business analysts different than uh, that for developers? And the answer I provided in our community was that um, SQL is one of the most commonly requested languages for employers that want to hire business systems analysts. And I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit more. The SQL used by developers is exactly the SQL that's used by business analysts, but BSAs typically only use a small subset of the SQL that developers do. And so that was the response that I gave. Let me elaborate a little bit more on each of those points. So uh, SQL being the most commonly requested skill, uh, I have pulled up a couple of slides from our SQL for Business Analyst course that we're, that we're currently building. And so I'll use those to explain what SQL actually is and what uh, types of SQL business systems analysts typically need to understand. So this is a slide, uh, it's a bit of a, a rough slide from our SQL course that kind of explains what SQL actually is. And so uh, basically for those uh, people who are completely new to the subject of SQL, essentially what SQL lets uh, you do as a business systems analyst is to run what are called queries or statements against directly against a database of a system and to get some sort of a result out. So typically uh, what the, the way that normally users use a system is that they'll have a screen where they go in, they might type in certain data into fields, you know, click a save button, et cetera. With uh, an enterprise level software, what the system does is it takes that data from the screen from where the user has done it and it stores it in the database. Now, the screen and the database in enterprise level software are two completely separate components. What SQL lets you do is to tap directly into the database without actually even looking at the application that supports, that uses the data from the database. And so what this slide basically tells you is, is that learning SQL is kind of a way of working with data under the hood of a system uh, without having to go through the application, without having to go through the screens that normal users would use. And uh, so the way that it typically would work in an example like this is that you would write a, a query that, you know, let's say if the select statement is a type of SQL statement that you can write. You would write uh, a statement or a query like this, and then you would execute it against a database that exists for an application. And then what that would do is it would provide you with a result that shows you the data that you asked for. So without getting into too much details about this specific example, that's the basic idea behind SQL and that's what it lets you do. Uh, typically, business analysts uh, don't use uh, everything that's in SQL. SQL is a very large area, and there's a lot of different statements that can get fairly complicated. Uh, and so this is another slide that we have from our course, which is uh, aimed at explaining to you the areas of SQL that business analysts, business systems analysts may be expected to use. So for example, uh, the five categories of SQL here are, uh, are all listed on the page here. Uh, business analysts typically focus only on categories number two and especially category number three, which is the select statement. And so uh, essentially what category number three, uh, the data query language it's called, lets you do is it lets you extract data that already exists inside a database. Uh, category number two, uh, the data manipulation language allows you to enter new records into a database. Uh, to update existing records or to delete records. And so most business analysts, business systems analysts are uh, working with select statements in order to pull out existing data. Uh, the uh, category number two are uh, statements that analysts can use uh, given certain uh, conditions that might exist or certain needs that an employer has. Uh, but the rest of the statements here, the data definition language, this is typically strictly uh, a developer's realm and the developers are the ones that uh, do the creation of the database structure. That's what this language, uh, part of uh, the SQL language lets you do. Uh, the data control language that we have here uh, is typically uh, uh, reserved for 
systems administrators. So even developers, a lot of times, don't use DCL. This is actually for people who maintain databases on an ongoing basis, and they're the ones that control the permissions on who can access what inside the database. The uh, rest of these, uh, category number five, can be used by both the admins and by the developers. Very rarely, if not ever, uh, do analysts ever need to use that area of SQL. So uh, just going back to the question here, uh, hopefully what those two slides have done is really kind of explain a little bit more to you about what SQL actually is and um, how it gets used by business analysts versus developers versus systems admins and uh, the uh, what and the areas of the SQL that you need to focus on uh, if you want to start to become a business systems analyst. And uh, just looking at, um, I want to elaborate a little bit more on this statement here where I said SQL is one of the most commonly requested skills by employers looking to hire BSAs. Now, whether SQL is a need that your employer has or not really depends on the technical environment that they maintain. And so every company, every organization has uh, dedicated themselves to different types of technology. Some of them require SQL, some of them do not. And so uh, if I could really just sum that up, I would say that if you are working for an organization that uh, mainly purchases and implements software instead of building software themselves, typically they're not going to have any need for SQL from their analysts or from their configurators or their developers. If you have an organization or a company that does a lot of custom built applications, they do uh, they build their own software in house, then SQL starts to become uh, a very important skill for both the business systems analysts and for the developers to have. I mean, the developers it'll be mandatory skill. So hopefully that that gives you sheds a little bit more light about when and where uh, SQL comes in handy. What I would like to do in one of our future live sessions is to actually start going through some job postings. And um, just based on the types of things that an organization asks you for, you can start to make sense of their technical environment and start to get a, an understanding of uh, the types of technologies they've kind of committed themselves to and the type of things that they would ask you for if you want to become a business systems analyst. So there's uh, there's a lot of different things that we could talk about that where you can learn about uh, how an organization structures itself just by looking at the job postings. So uh, that is just taking a look at the time here. Uh, we are uh, a little bit early. And I hope, Nirman, that that has answered uh, the question in a little bit more depth. I know that you have a lot of really great questions for us, uh, and we've captured all of those in the backlog, and we're going to start going through them uh, one by one as, as we go through. Uh, but the questions so far have been uh, excellent. And I hope you've gotten a, a, a full answer for it. If not, again, you can just respond to that question, and I can start to answer questions that that you might have uh, that are follow-up questions for that. Uh, since we're a little bit uh, early here, I'll open up the floor to see if we have any uh, other questions coming from the members who are with us here in the session. And um, so I'll wait a minute for that. I am totally satisfied with your answer. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that that helped. Um, so I'll assume that there's no other questions. If you do have questions, again, uh, definitely throw them into uh, the different areas that we have in our inside of our community, and we're going to continue to uh, start to just go through the backlog of questions and answer them. There are a lot of other members who are more senior members inside of our uh, community that are answering a lot of.